imagine an analogy with a car radio. Imagine you take some rental car in some place where you don't know and you drive away from the uh, rental car depot and you're playing with the radio and trying to find a radio station. Now you may have some idea of what you're trying to find and you, but you don't know what frequency it's on and so you would turn the dial. And so, so this is actually more than an analogy. This is literally what the GPS is doing. If we just skip back a slide and, and look at what, what do we have in the GPS block diagram. Well, this part of the receiver is literally the radio part of the receiver. And so this is the radio part here and the, and the GPS is searching over different frequencies to find the signal. And this part of the receiver is the digital part of the receiver. Because think of this as the brains of the receiver, where having found it's what it's looking for is is at any particular frequency, has it found something that corresponds to what it's expecting? Has it found the PRN code for the satellite that it's looking for? So this this is like what goes on in your brain when you search over a car radio. You search over different frequencies, and your brain is telling you the difference between what's just noise and what's signal. And so keep that in mind, and we'll go back to this. And now we'll watch this video again, but but just keep, keep this in mind, and then you'll, you'll remember what's going on inside your GPS receiver. So this is like you're, you're tuning a radio in your rental car trying to find a particular radio station. Welcome to KGPS Live 1575. That's what your GPS receiver is doing. <laughs>